We started this year needing six more to complete this album. We found three this year. We're now at box 29 and 30, episode 18. Stay tuned. Let's see if we can find the remaining three. Hey, collectors. Thanks for watching. I'm the Collector of Coins, and that's right. As I said in the intro, we're at episode 18, boxes 29 and 30 of this Nickel Search an album feel ser series, easy for me to say. We just need three more to complete this album. These are all key date nickels, low mintage, four million, three and a half million, and of course the 2.6 million 1950D. But we've had luck this year finding equally tough ones throughout the season. All right, well, collectors, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I will pull you in as soon as we open up the first box, box 29. And of course, we'll pull you in if we find any proof nickels, any nickel 1950 or earlier, or anything else interesting or cool to look at. All righty, stay tuned. All right, well, we got the box open. These are circulated nickels. I don't see any Buffalo nickel enders. We did have one earlier this year. All right, let's get hunting. All right, we have our first find. This comes out of roll seven. It's a 1947 from Philadelphia. Hey, collectors, we're into roll 11, and we've come across a 1939. Let's see if this is one of the ones that we need. Uh, no, this is a Philadelphia minted one. All right, let's see if there's a, a double die reverse on this one. Well, we're looking at Monticello and five cents. We see some damage but no, no double die. But we did just record our second find of this box. All right, well, we had two more finds coming out of roll 12, 1949, Denver, and another 1947, Philadelphia. All right, well, slowly creep it up in terms of the number of finds. Lots more to hunt. Yeah, well, roll 20, Gives us a silver nickel from Philadelphia, 1945. I'm not sure how I missed that on the side. Usually you could tell because the color is a little different. But we got silver. Hey, collectors, we are looking at roll 22. And look at this. Scratched up. That is a proof coin. And it looks like it might have been a cameo proof. Oh, my gosh. Totally damaged. Wow. This is a crime. 1960s proof nickel. Really in rough shape, but could have been a cameo. <laughs> well, that's a find. It's a sad find. And same role as the proof coin is this 1946 with rim damage from Philadelphia. Hey, collectors, just found out roll 24. Another silver nickel, 1943. What mint? Philadelphia. All right. Let's take a look at the three over two variety. Well, what I should have said was let's look for the three over two variety. And this is not it. That's a clean looking three. Let's see if we got doubling around the eyelid. Not that I can see. All right. Well, big scratch. It doesn't look so big without the microscope. Ha ha. All right. Two silver. Let's keep going. Well, as we were going through the roll, we came across another silver nickel in that roll after this 1959 and a 1945 from Philadelphia. And look at this, roll 25. Another silver nickel, 1942, Philadelphia. Wow. Four silver nickels so far, and we're just... Halfway through the first box. Roll 32, and look at this, another silver nickel. 1943, Philadelphia. All right, let me check for the doubling. I'll put you in if we find it. If not, we're just going to move on. Hey, collectors, we're going through roll 35, and look at this strange nickel. Now, I know it's supposed to be a buffalo nickel. 1920. It, it doesn't feel real. I mean, this has either been sandblasted 
or someone look at that look at the seam someone may have tried casting a buffalo nickel here all right well i have a magnet well it's not magnetic i mean this is either a genuine buffalo nickel that's been just blasted away it weighs almost nothing, to be honest. What a weird find. A collector's roll, 36. And yes, another silver nickel, our sixth one. 1945 Philadelphia. Wow, outstanding. Maybe the best box for silver nickels I've ever had. Roll 37, 1940 Philadelphia. A collector's, you're looking at roll 40 and do you believe this? Another silver nickel, is that a proof? I don't think that's a proof. All right, so another 1943, another one from Philadelphia, our seventh silver nickel of this box. All right, I'm gonna look for the double die as well as the four over, sorry, the three over two. Again, I'll only bring you in if we see something cool. If not, we're just gonna keep moving on, but holy cow. Hanging out in roll 46 in this first box of this hunt. Box 29 is a 1940 Philadelphia. Now, here's the thing. We got four more rolls left. The silver finds have tied the non-silver finds, which is a first for this channel. Well, we're tied with the finds, silver, non-silver, fanned out roll 50, and look at this. Right off the bat, another silver nickel. 1943, yet again, common date, Philadelphia. Wow, all right, let me check this under the microscope. We'll look through this. We'll see if there's any pre-50s in here. Uh, I'm almost forgetting about the, the, the three nickels that we need for the album. We got another box, but here, let, let me check this out. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, and sure enough, it's tied again. Further in on that same roll 50, 1949, Philadelphia. All right, let's get box 30 open and continue this hunt. I'm hoping there are more buffaloes, and certainly I'm hoping there's more silver. All right, we got it open. It is a circulated set of nickels here, or a box of circulated nickels. Fingers crossed. Hey, collectors, we got our first find of the second box, a 1947 from Philadelphia. Hey, collectors, I just opened up and fanned out roll nine, and we got a buffalo nickel. 1937 from Philadelphia. Yeah, pretty nice. I would say maybe in very fine shape. Nice find. All right. This one is real. Let's go. Let's compare to the one that we found in the first video. I think this might have been also legitimate Buffalo. There's just been sandblasted or like i said this could have been a cast but this is what it's supposed to look like all right let's keep going hey collectors we're into roll 10 and we've come across a proof nickel 2005 san francisco really nice looking all right another find now look at this one this comes out of roll 12 Another proof nickel, 1972 from San Francisco. Wow, pretty cool. All right, two proofs in one box. Okay, we're into roll 26. It's been a slow box in terms of pre-50s finds, but we did find a 1946 from San Francisco. Pretty cool. Roll 35 gives us a 1941 from Denver. Roll 37 had two more finds, 1940 Philadelphia. This one is in really nice shape. And a 1941 from Denver. I'm wondering if this is an upgrade. Let's take a look. You know, here we go. And that date is damaged. This one has a little damage on the date too. But I think all in all, this one is in better shape than this one. So we're going to swap them around. Roll 45 gives us a 1947. Minted in Philadelphia. Hey, collectors, we just got roll 46 opened and spread out. We find another 1947. Another night, uh, another one from Philadelphia. 
And roll 50 gives us the last find of the second box, 1946 from Philadelphia. Well, we had a spectacular hunt. Between these two boxes, let's get the core finds here. First box had, what is that? Uh, eight silver nickels and a proof nickel and this bizarre thing. And then the second box, we had three, six, seven, eight finds prior to the 50s, but the key finds were these two proof coins and this buffalo nickel, a genuine one. Three proofs in all, silver, buffaloes, and shenanigans. Well, collectors, we didn't find any of the coins that we needed to complete the album, but we did have an upgrade, which you saw earlier. And with this, I'd like to say thanks for watching, and I wish you happy collecting.